Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Crypto Kid, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about three cryptocurrencies I feel have massive potential in the next coming weeks or even months. So, um, and overall, they're going to be amazing coins, right? They're going to be have great fundamentals behind them. The technology is going to be good behind them. The team, um, and also they're most likely going to be undervalued right now, which is why I'm mainly talking about them right now. However, the big factor of um, why I'm creating this video is due to the fact that. Bitcoin is at such a critical point um, of it either going bearish or bullish in the probably all the way to disassemble is if it like really it needs to pass the 7500 point um, a lot of people are saying and I agree with that point as well and I also think it's going to pass that point I think it's going to pass that $7,500 point obviously we're sitting right around the 0 0.5 Fibonacci um, and we need to really pass this point um, because it will be such a good milestone for Bitcoin if we get past that 7,500 since it will really show the market that we're going into a bullish state and it could go, it could really run to all the way to 10,000. Especially guys with this um, Bitcoin ETF denial or approval coming up on September 7th for the VanEck um, ETF. And obviously if that gets approved, there's no doubt it's going past 7,500. Um, there's a lot of interesting news coming out in the future that's going to affect Bitcoin's price negatively or positively. So I want to create this video on three cryptocurrencies that are mainly going to be altcoins. I mean, they're all going to be altcoins, sorry, um, that I feel is a great um, is a great coin to have when we go into the bullish state. Whether that's right now, whether that's next month, two months, whatever. It's going to be, these three coins are going to be amazing to have. So, yes, let's get right into this. Now, obviously, these are the Bitcoin charts. I just went over the Fibonacci. Uh, Bitcoin's kind of looking bullish um, in terms of MACD. Um, our size approaching overbought this zone. So, we really don't have much area to move. But if we move past that 7,500, it's going to be a key point for Bitcoin. Um, and, yeah, so my first coin, guys, that I feel um, is just has huge potential amazing technology um, especially right now is just really even right now when Bitcoin isn't doing much it has been steadily growing um, and really showing how it's worth so this coin is VeChain or VET so VeChain guys as you know or you might not know it used to be called Ven okay so I did a video on it before when it was Ven um, and the supply was a lot smaller so the price was a lot more right so we don't have much um, data here to tell you about its all-time high because it really just came onto the market on August 3rd at the beginning of August um, and we can see here in terms of now the lowest point VeChain was at was on August 13th at around not like around um, half a cent or more okay so it was a half cent right now it's sitting at almost two cents so it's seen massive growth just from that time well pretty good growth just from that time um, the reason I love VeChain so much guys is first of all it actually has amazing partnerships they have so many partnerships their main net launch is already out meaning they're on their own blockchain now they the wallet the mobile wallet is just amazing Good reviews all around. They are constantly gaining new partnerships. Um, they're gonna be the end all and be all blockchain project for the for enterprising, right? For they're gonna provide so many enterprising solutions, especially with the supply chain and other stuff like that. Um, it's gonna be amazing for Bchain. I see this coin consistently growing and growing. And this video is not telling you guys what VeChain or what these other coins are, they're just kind of me explaining why I think there was such a good pick for the future, especially in the next coming months. I mean, I think I'm gonna, we're going to see a lot of growth of these coins. Now, this coin um, isn't really undervalued right now, I would say. If we go over to the charts here, there's not much data, again, that we can get. These are four-hour candles. Um, we can see that it is um, not overbought right now, but also not underbought. It's, but sorry it's sitting right in the middle but obviously bitcoin is really gonna if it bitcoin goes up right this is really gonna affect the chain's price in a positive way if it goes down it could have a negative effect on it effect on it but the chain's been quite stable um and it's been consistently growing lately so that's one of the signs i see of why it's such a good coin so that is v chain guys number one coin or i'm not really rating them in any way but 
it is the first coin we will cover. So second coin, guys, I feel is going to go big in the next coming months just because of how undervalued it is right now, like insanely undervalued this coin is. This is NEO. So NEO is sitting at market cap of 1.5 billion, okay? This used to be in the top 10. It's now in number 15. Tour supply, obviously 100 million. Um, but yeah, this coin reached an all-time high, guys, of $161 um, on January 15th. That was the, That's a massive, massive fall, okay? That's a massive fall. It's around 8x from where it is now. So 800% up we went and we would be around that time. Um, the lowest we saw for this coin since a long, for a while anyways, was actually right here, $17 or $16.87 on August 15th. So such a good buy point. But right now it's still amazingly undervalued, guys. You have no idea. It's right. It's around the price it was when Neo used to be called Ant Shares. Uh, I did not know. I do not know if you guys know that, but yes, it used to be called Ant Shares, and it just absolutely shot off in December. It's always in a very stable cryptocurrency you can rely on because the technology behind it is so good. It's many um, solutions, obviously, for enterprise. Uh, it is using small contracts, and it really just wants to build an amazing decentralized blockchain. Um, like for in instance, they have run so many decentralized applications on the blockchain. Uh, really good ones, actually. Too Neo runs probably has some of the best ones of any other coin. Uh, Neo's always been one of my favorite coins, guys. Probably my top three, um, top five. I just love Neo. It's been around for longer than other coins have. Also, it's been around all the way from September 9th or 8th. 2016 so it's been around for almost two years now um so it's seen more ups and downs and other coins definitely and it's seen more of what the market has to offer than many other coins which i see as being a good factor because it's really proven itself it's lasted less long before there was all this hype before there was all this um bitcoin hype in in the end of 2017 this coin was still has been around for a while, right? So I see that as a, a plus and the fact that it's so undervalued right now that it needs to see growth, especially when Bitcoin starts moving. This coin follows Bitcoin quite nicely. When it starts moving, it's gonna go huge in my opinion. And yeah, that's why it's my second top coin or altcoin to buy <laughs> um, for the bull market or buy right now even. But um, I'm not giving you guys financial advice. This video, none of my videos, all financial advice, they're just me sharing my opinion. So you guys know that. Um, but yeah, for new people that didn't know that, that's that. Uh, if we go over here on Trading View, we can see Neo is currently looking more bullish with that MACD looking more bullish. The RSI right in the middle, so it's moving its way up. Obviously, right here was such a good low, such a good buy point for Neo. So low. I didn't pick up any then, but if you guys did, comment below if you did, because I really want to know how you guys are doing on those trades. Um, but yeah, this is Neo, guys, obviously undervalued with the day candles. Uh, it's seen so much uh, <laughs> falls and just so much red in the past three months or two months. It's it's crazy. You know, I never thought Neo. I thought Neo would always be up there and stay strong, and it did in a way. Um, but now it's just so undervalued that it needs to see growth, especially in Bitcoin starts to move. So that is what I think, guys. Um, that's my number two coin. Okay, so number three coin, the last coin on this list, um, and a coin that I've always loved is definitely, definitely in my top five coins overall. And it's just such a good coin because it's building one of the blockchain, biggest blockchains ever, and that is Icon. Icon is so good, guys. I love Icon or ICX. Um, just such a good coin. Uh, currently, it's 91 cents. I know, <laughs> Icon at 91 cents. It's just so weird to think. But that's not even the lowest. It hit 55 cents on August 15th, guys. This coin was so undervalued, still undervalued. If you look at the all-time high, it went up all the way to around $12. It was still sitting around 12x from where it was before. And when it went to 50 cents, it was around 24x. So such a good buy point. Um, lowest it's ever been was obviously right when it came out, August, October 27, 2017. So it hasn't even been out a year and it was 47 cents. So right around, well, 
where it was in August 15th and it's even close to where it is now. But yeah, guys, Icon is one of my favorite coins. It's building one of the biggest decentralized blockchains. They want to connect government, they want to connect, um, sorry, universities, um, medical medical places like hospitals and in in law firms and all kinds of institutions that we rely on on the daily right and they want to connect these and integrate other blockchains so they can connect different blockchains so it's kind of like a 3.0 project um and icons is such a good coin guys such a good coin it's always been one of my favorite um i've held this coin through the through the falls, I've held it through the highs, right? I actually got into this coin um, when we were right around here, I believe. Yeah, I got into this coin there, and I sold some when it went up to here. I got in again down here, sold some up here, um, and I'm still holding some all the way through this horrible, horrible bear market. But when Bitcoin starts to make its move, if it does, right, if, if it gets over that 7,500 mark, or if it gets the ETF approval. We don't need an ETF, but it's going to help the price. Obviously, Icon is going to go huge, guys. It's ranked 32nd on Coin Market Cap, Market Cap 352 million. So not very big, not very small. Uh, it saw obviously a market cap of over four billion at one point. So it's obviously undervalued in my opinion, and I think we're going to see huge growth in this coin. It's a, such a good fundamental coin. Great technology behind it. Great team behind it. They. Um, the main that launch has already happened on exchanges, but it's not over yet because the actual main wallet, um, IconX, is still doing swaps until September 29th, I believe. Yeah, September 29th, they'll be doing swaps still. So if you haven't got your Icon your Suite 20 tokens swapped for the Icon mainnet tokens, I recommend you doing that because obviously you want to keep your tokens keep your assets safe um but yeah that is icon guys they have a great wallet just a great team great um actual technology so does neo so does vchain all of these coins are great fundamental technology coins that i think are gonna be here to stick around they're gonna be the coins that really strive through in the next two years three years that will still be around because a lot 90 percent of these coins might not be around that we have right now in the market probably won't be around in the next five years. That's my opinion. You guys may think that, might not think that, but that's what I think. So thank you guys um, for watching. If you guys do want to subscribe to the channel, that would greatly help. Also like the video, because that does help us uh, grow as a community um, and helps me just be more motivated to make more videos for you guys. So thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video as I enjoy making these types of videos if you want to see more of my content um, comment below what you think I should do because um, I like to see what you guys think um, I should make in the, in the future because these videos these top three videos are really beneficial in my opinion because all these projects are great and they're gonna be around in the next few years they're gonna see massive growth when Bitcoin starts moving so it's really these are all great picks in my opinion, okay? All great picks, um, especially the whole point I got this thing from is actually Jacob Canfield, number one trader on, um, or technical analyst on um, TradingView, and he has said, and plenty of other people have said, that Bitcoin is, this 7,500 uh, level is so important, it's such a key point because, um, if it gets over that, it's going to be a massive bull market, especially if the ETF even hypes it up even more. Because right now he's saying 70% going um, up and 30% going down chance. So I'm going to stick with his opinion and my opinion also that Bitcoin is going to be bullish by the end of 2018. And we're going to see all these other altcoins do amazing. The ones that really actually are good coins, right? Good technology coins. All, all the ones that are going to do amazing. So that is my um, top three um, cryptocurrencies to buy for the bull market, guys. I hope you really did enjoy this video. If you do, um, then follow my social media. Stay up to date with me. I do giveaways. I do all kinds of cool stuff. So stay up to date. Um, and really, let's just grow this community because I am so happy and excited for the future of my channel. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day and peace.